بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد عيا الهبة في الله إمام فوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked Is it an obligation to make jihad during our time? What is the response to those who use the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you involve yourself in usury, hold on to the tail of the cow, and abandon jihad? Allah will remove the fear of you from the hearts of your enemies and will overtake you and humility will not be removed from you until you return to your religion. Ru'ahu Ahmed, Hadith 4825. Imam Fuzan, half of the Allah Ta'ala responded by saying, if the Muslims have strength and are able to conduct jihad and fighting in the cause of Allah, then this is an obligation upon the leader of the Muslims because it is one of the duties of the leader that he has soldiers for fighting and leads and commands them similar to the, how the Prophet ﷺ used to do. If the Muslims are unable to fight the disbelievers, then they delay the jihad till they are able. So their fighting will be in defense against those who want to occupy their country or attack them. Then they fight defending their sanctity. As for if they have strength, then they fight offensively for spreading Islam under the banner of the Muslim leader who is over them and commands them and leads them himself or the one who rules on his behalf. This is something well known in the books of Jihad and Creed, to be with the leaders and scholars who decide the affairs of Jihad under one banner. There should not be various banners and groups that end up differing between themselves and slaughtering one another and not achieving anything. This was the fatwa of Imam uh, bin Baz, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. And anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.